Hello, this is Jamie with Creations Misfit, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bee stuffy. I know a lot of people have these already, similar um, patterns, but a few people were asking me if I could make a video, so here we are. I am going to use a size 5 yard. This is called Big Twist Posh, and it's really super soft. You could use a size 6, like the Burnett Blanket, or um, the Big Twist has like a thicker yard too. I think it's called Plush, if you'd like. You could also use a size 4 if you'd like. It's just going to change the size of the B. So this is about my size here, and this is with a size 5 yard. Also, you don't have to use like the super soft yard if you have just a regular size 5. Uh, like Hobby Lobby, I love this chunky or a size 6. Use whatever you have on hand. And I am going to use a 7 millimeter hook for mine. And then you'll also need a stitch marker, some scissors, a yarn needle to tie in your ends, and some safety eyes if you'd like to do that. If not, you can just crochet your own eyes or embroider your own eyes. But we're going to use two different colors. I'm going to do blue today, and then you'll need black for your stripes or whatever colors you, you choose to use. And then um, I'm going to do white for the wings. And you don't need a whole lot. I used for the main color, I used about 35 yards. And for the black yard, I used about 12 yards. And for the white yard, maybe, maybe two yards, something like that. All right, so let's go ahead and make a B. I forgot to mention, you're also going to need some polyfill to stuff your bee. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our, I'm going to start with the blue yarn, whatever your main color is, and we're going to start with a magic circle, and this is how I do mine. If you need more time to learn how to do, this is a very simple way that always stays closed for me. I'll put a little card up here to a really easy video showing you how to do it. Otherwise, use your own way, or if you like, you could just single crochet four, and then connect to the very first stitch with a slip stitch. And then you'll just uh, work inside that circle that you made. But I like to do the magic circle like this. Then I go under here and over and pull up a loop. And then we're going to chain one. So I just chain while I'm still holding it here. And there we go. There's our magic circle. And for round one, we are going to do six single crochet inside the magic circle. And you'll want to mark your very first stitch because we're going to work in the round. So it's just easier if you have that marked. It's three, four, five, and six. And these work up really quick, which is nice. All right, and then pull your circle closed. Be careful if you're using like a soft yarn like this, sometimes it will snap, like with the Burnett blanket, sometimes I've snapped mine. Okay, for round two, we're just going to increase in every stitch around, so we're going to do two single crochet in every stitch around, and make sure that you um, mark that very first stitch again. So we're going to go in here one time, it's so one single crochet, and mark that. And then make sure you go back into that same stitch to do your increase. Two. Okay, and then just do two single crochet in every stitch around, and at the end of round two, you will have 12 stitches. You can put the video on pause, and I'll meet you right back. All right, and we will move on to round three. So for round three, we are going to do a single crochet in the first stitch. Mark that. And then we're going to increase in the second stitch. So we'll do two single crochet in the next. And that's going to be our pattern all the way around. We'll do one single crochet and then an increase in the next. And at the end of round three, you will have 18 stitches. Here we are at the end of round three. I also want to say if I'm going too fast or too slow, you can change the playback, uh, playback speed of the video to either make it quicker or slower. You can also pause if you need in between. And if you don't want to listen to me, I know I sound nasally, I hear it in every single <laughs> video I make, I always get a comment about my voice. I apologize, that's just what I sound like. Um, you can mute me and I will have all the instructions on the screen for you to follow. All right, so let's go on to round four. And for round four, we're going to do a single crochet in the very first stitch. And we'll do a single crochet in the second stitch. 
and then we'll increase in the third stitch. So do two single crochet after that. And that will be our pattern all the way around. We will single crochet in two stitches and then do an increase. And at the end of round four, you'll have 24 stitches. All right, let's move on to round five. If you hear that wind, sorry, I have my window closed, but the wind is really howling. <laughs> All right, so for round five, this is our last increase round. We are going to do a single crochet in the first three stitches. Make sure that you're still marking that very first stitch in every round. And then after our third single crochet, we will do an increase. And that will be your pattern all the way around. So at the end of round five, we will end up with 30 stitches. And after round five, here we are with 30 stitches. So from here, we're going to do the next two rounds, rounds six and round seven. We are just going to do one single crochet in every stitch around. Okay, so let's do our first and mark that. So this will be round six. Do one in every stitch around, you'll have 30 stitches. And then for round seven, you'll do the same thing. But um, before you finish your last stitch, we're gonna change to black, but we're also gonna do the face before that. So when you get to the end of round seven, just hold off on, um, on changing your yarn to black yet. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of round seven. This is six, and then do seven as well. Okay, here we are at the end of round seven, and I just uh, cut this, well, I just sewed this little string in, so you can do that whenever you feel up to it. Um, and then from here, we're gonna put the safety eyes in, and we're going to embroider the mouth, if that's what you'd like to do. This is what mine looks like, what my face looks like. <laughs> Hold on, let me, there, okay. Uh, you can do it like that if you'd like, or however you would like to do that. But I will show you how I do mine. And for the eyes, let me grab my safety eyes. I'm using size 10 millimeter eyes. You can use whatever you'd like. And also if you'd rather, if this is going to a baby, maybe you don't want to do safety eyes, you can just crochet your own. So for the safety eyes, I put them between rounds five or rounds four and five. And I put them up here like wherever your stitch marker is put that on the bottom I'll explain why in a little bit but um, so we just finished round seven so if you count back here's seven six five and four I put them between four and five and I kind of put them about seven stitches apart sometimes I have to pop them in and just check to see if they look all right so that would be like one two three four, five, six, seven, maybe right there. It's gonna look a little bit not perfect because this is going in the round, but I think that looks all right to me. So I'm going to secure those in the back, make sure that those pop on really well. And then we're gonna cut a piece of black yarn for the mouth. And I just cut kind of a long piece And then you're going to get your yarn needle and you can embroider your smile. I'm not great at embroidering. <laughs> um, you may find a much better way, but I kind of just try to, I don't even know where I did this other one. I don't know. Every single one looks completely different for me, but I just kind of try to do it like here or, or maybe down here a little bit. And I go, let me see where this one is at. Okay. Yeah, I just kind of start like maybe here. And I pull the needle through. And then leave a tail in the back there. And then I go down. Whoa, can you hear that wind? <laughs> it's crazy. And then I go back through the other side. And then I come up the next stitch this way. And go down that way. So I'm going to go ahead and do my smile off camera. I mean, that's how I do it just all the way around and I will meet you right back. Okay. So here's my smile. It kind of goes off a little bit, but that's all right. They don't have to be perfect. And then just make sure that you 
tie your tails into the back. I just go through and do like a little knot on each side to make sure that they don't come apart. And then you can cut that. And on this side, same thing. This one's kind of wrapped up, which is fine in the back. Like I said, an embroidery is not my strong point, but you might have a much better way of doing it. But I find this works just fine. I've made a lot of these in the past. I just never wrote my pattern out. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. So we are going to switch to black yarn now for round eight. And there's a lot of different ways you can do it. I mean, your, your colors are most likely going to be off a little bit. Like here you can see the shift because we're working in the round. This is like the cleanest way I've been able to do it. I know there are other ways. Feel free to use whatever you'd like. But I found... Um, Hold on, let me grab my stuff. Okay, normally when I change colors with the yarn, I pull through, like if I'm doing the last, oh, the reason we did this upside down is so that this, uh, like this portion that's kind of off is gonna be on the bottom of the B. But normally when I pull through my last stitch, when I'm going to change colors, I pull through with the new color yarn, but that it's leaving this here and I don't like that this green one is a much cleaner look it doesn't have those extra colors in there so I'll show you how I did that one so go ahead and grab your black yarn and I just um, I did my last stitch of round seven and for the black I'm just going to tie it right onto my hook here like this and then just go ahead and start the, the new row. And for rounds eight and nine, we are just going to do one single crochet in every stitch around. Now don't drag your blue, just leave it back there because we're going to use it again so you could leave it attached. But make sure that you crochet over your tail here for the black. All right, so just go ahead and do your first stitch and make sure you mark that. And then I pull the blue to make sure that it's tightened. Okay, and then this will be rounds eight and nine. We're just going to do a single crochet in every stitch around. And I'm just dragging this tail in the back until we finish it. All right, so this is round eight. And then round nine, you'll do the same thing. And then I'll meet you back. And at the end of each of these rounds, you should have 30 stitches. All right, I'm at the end of round nine, and we are going to switch back to our main color. So it's back here. You're just going to pull it around and make a loop here. And then we're going to start. And for rounds 10, 11, and 12, we're just going to do one single crochet all the way around in your main color. So for three full rounds, make sure that you are marking your first stitch. And then just pull the black yarn a little bit to make sure it's tight. All right, so this is round 10. You'll do 10, 11, 12, and then I will see you back. And after round 12, we're going to switch back to the black yarn. So just pull it from behind. Do your loop here. Put the blue one back. And for rounds uh, 13 and 14, we are going to do one single crochet in every stitch around in the color black. Okay, so pull that tight, and this will be round 13, and then you'll do 14, and I'll see you back after that. Here we are at the end of round 14, and that's the last time we're gonna use the black yarn, so we're gonna switch over back to our main color, do a loop there, and then you can cut, like, kind of leave a tail for the black, and you can crochet that in on this next round. So for rounds 15, 16, 17, we are just going to do one single crochet all the way around. So this will be round 15. And then just make sure you're crocheting over that tail in the back to secure the black yarn. So this is 15. 
then we'll do 16 and 17. And I'll just do a little bit of this. I just wanted to say thanks for watching this. And if you're new to my channel, whoops, we don't want that. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, um, I would love it if you'd like to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. I have a lot of different things, not just stuffies. I have all kinds of hats and scarves and stockings and um, bookmarks, um, home decor, lots of different items, something for everybody. And, and a lot of other stuffies as well. I also do yarn reviews. Just I'm not affiliated with anybody. It's just whenever I purchase yarn, I do reviews on there to see if uh, maybe I could help somebody else choose a yarn for themselves. And I do giveaways every so often. I haven't done one in a while, so maybe short, maybe soon I'll do that. But I'd love to have you um, on my channel if you can take a look at some of the other videos, see if anything sparks your interest. Or if you have any ideas for something you'd like me to make a video for, please let me know and I'd be happy to try that. Also, if you could like this video, that would be really helpful. Um, YouTube's algorithm has a lot to do with like likes and comments. So if you'd like to comment, that would be helpful as well. And plus I love to get feedback from you guys whether it's positive or something I could work on or, you know, anything. I'd love to hear how you did with this, if it was helpful, um, who you're making your project for, what colors you used, what yarns you used, anything like that. I'd be happy to read your comments. I usually get to every single one of them and try to respond. Uh, I do appreciate you being here. This is YouTube is kind of where I learned to crochet. My mom taught me when I was younger and I knew like a couple of stitches when I was like eight years old. And then as an adult, I started watching YouTube and it really took off. So I thought I'll make my own channel once I was years into this and uh, make videos so that I could help other people also learn, you know, especially people that learn visually like I do. So anyway, I love that you're here. I hope this is helpful. Please like, comment, subscribe. Also, if you make this, I would love to see it or any of my other projects. I am on TikTok and Instagram at Creations Misfit. You can tag me there or send me a direct message and I'd love to see your project. All right, so I'm going to finish up this last round of 17 and I will see you back for 18. All right, so here's where we're at at the end of round 17. And we're going to start decreasing now. We're almost done. We just have a few rows left. So for round 18, we are going to single crochet in the first three stitches. And then we're going to do a decrease. If you're not sure how to do a single crochet decrease, it's really easy. You just go in like a regular single crochet, yarn over and pull up your loop. And instead of yarning over and pulling through right away, we're going to go into the next stitch so we can put two stitches together. So just go ahead and go into that next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And that's how you decrease or put two stitches together. So then we're going to follow that pattern all the way around. We'll do three regular single crochets and then we'll do a decrease. So go in, yarn over, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So go ahead and finish up round 18. You should have 24 stitches at the end of round 18 and I'll see you then. Okay, at the end of round 18 is where I usually start to stuff my B. So I just pull this a little bit so it doesn't get lost. And then I grab a bunch of stuffing. This actually takes way more stuffing than I imagined. Like I pull out Oh, you can't really tell. I pull out like a ton of stuffing and I'm like, oh, I'll never need that much. And then I need more. So go ahead and stuff your bee to your liking. Some people like theirs really, really full. Other people like it so that you can squish it a little bit more. It's just up to you. Just make sure that you are um, kind of taking a look at it because sometimes I notice I've stuffed and like one side is way thicker than the other. So go ahead and stuff to your liking, and I will meet you back for round 19. Okay, for round 19, we just have three rounds left, and then we'll do the wings, and we'll be finished. Okay, for round 19, we are going to do two single crochet, or single crochet in the first two stitches. Oh, let me see, did I go into that? Hold on. 
Okay, sorry, I was lost for a second. We're going to do a single crochet in the first two stitches. And then a decrease. And that will be our pattern all the way around for round 19. And you'll have 18 stitches at the end of this round. All right, let's move right on to round 20. For round 20, we are going to do a single crochet in the first stitch and then we will do a decrease after that and that will be your pattern all the way around one single crochet and then a single crochet decrease and at the end of round 20 you will have 12 stitches okay and last round round 21 we are just going to do decreases all the way around <laughs> this wind it keeps cracking me up we're just going to do decreases all the way around so you will have six all together so there's one two three four five and six and then we can tie off our yarn. So I just go into the next stitch and do a slip stitch and then I chain up one and leave kind of a long tail to tie in. You can just pull. Okay, so we will grab our yarn needle and we're gonna sew up the bottom. So I just go underneath each stitch I usually just pull up like like go under like the front part of the stitch but you could go under both it doesn't matter oops this yarn by the way is from Joann's um, in case you were wondering where I got it if you need to stuff any more you can put more stuffing in before you close it up mine was pretty full and I could like move it around a little bit all right, and then from there you just pull it like a uh, drawstring. I almost said a g-string, <laughs> and uh, and then just I go through like a couple of the stitches from one side to the other, just to secure the the tail, and then I'll go through a stitch and then through like a part of the body and pull. And then I can, you can cut your yarn there. Okay, so there's our B. And then we just have to do the wings. So go ahead and grab your white yarn. We grab mine. Okay, we're going to make two wings. And these are very easy. We're just going to single crochet. Or, I'm sorry, we're going to do a, a magic circle. Like we did before. Or you could do your... Um, Sorry, I can't grab that. <laughs> or you could do your um, chain four and slip stitch to the first. Okay, so you do a magic circle and chain up one. And then we're going to do six single crochet inside the magic circle. If you'd like to use your stitch marker for this, feel free. I can see this pretty well, so I don't, I'm not going to use it. There's one, two, three, four, five and six and then close up your circle that's round one you'll have six stitches and for round two we're going to increase in every stitch around so you're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 12. okay so you can do your round two and i will meet you back here we are at the end of round two and round three is the last round all we're going to do is we're going to start with a single crochet and then we're going to do an increase in the second stitch. And you'll do that all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. I'll meet you back after that. And at the end of round three, we're going to tie off. So I do a slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain up one and then leave a tail so you can tie in or so you can uh, sew the wing onto the B. And you're going to make one more of those. So I'll put the instructions up. It's just a, the three round repeat for the instructions. And uh, make a second one. And then I'll show you how to sew them on. It will be done. And make sure that you close up your circle really well by pulling. And then I just do like a little knot there. Or 
you know, weave it in to uh, hide the tail. Okay, I have both of my wings ready to sew on. So um, you could do these however you'd like. I, this green one that I did, I kind of put them, hold on, let me come out here. I kind of put them on further apart than I'd like to, but that's okay. Every bee can be different and everyone is perfectly imperfect, right? So I like to put them a little bit closer and I like to put them like, kind of like this on an angle. So maybe start your two white pieces like right down the middle of the eyes and on the second black stripe. Like maybe put these ends here and then put them out this way. I think that's how it looks best. I just kind of messed up. So um, I'll just show you quickly how I get it to stay on. But of course the choice is yours. You probably know a better way than I do. <laughs> so here, there's the middle of the eyes. I'm just going to go back to like this black stripe here and I'm going to put them kind of like this for this one. Alright, so I just pick up the stitch here and then I come through the back of the white part and pick up that back stitch and pull through and then I pick up the next stitch wherever I want this to go <laughs> just kind of go underneath I cannot believe this wind <laughs> and then come through holy moly that is so loud I wish you could see all the leaves flying about outside it looks like <laughs> a tornado Okay, and then come through the white part for the next stitch, and then go underneath again. And I just do that along, and I do it, you can kind of check to see where you're at, you know, where you want your, if you want it at an angle or like this, however you want, and then I go back the same way. So I'll, I'll come back to you after I get back to the other side. Okay, so I went all the way down and then back and I ended up here and maybe I, I don't know if that's even centered, but that's where I'm at. So then I just go into a stitch. Once you can feel that it's on there really well, I go into a stitch and through like the bottom or wherever, just go through the body somewhere and pull that tight and then you can clip that off. So I'm going to do my other wig and then I'll come back. Okay, so these wigs are definitely better than the green ones that I did. Um, so there you have it. There's your bee and I hope this was helpful. Like I said, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this worked out for you or what yards you used. I know this isn't like a particular yard that most people use, but I actually, I actually bought it on accident. I thought it was the thicker chenille yard from them and it was a size five so I thought well let's make the bees so I hope this was helpful um, I hope to see you in the next video also check out my other videos you guys have a great day thank you so much for being here see you in the next one bye